A common need when working with dates is to calculate dynamically the last date in a given month. For example, you might need to calculate maturity dates of bonds or due dates of fees that are on the last day of the month. Although the last day for most months is fixed, the last day for February varies depending on whether the given year is a leap year. End of month function is used to calculate the last day of the month. The syntax is start date, the starting date, months, the number of months before or after the start date, use a positive value for future months and negative value for past months. For example, to find the last date of the month for the dates in column A, use this formula. Use zero for months argument as you want the end of month for the same month. Copy the formula down and you can see that end of month for February varies based on whether the year is a leap year or not. End of month for Jan is 31st and for November it is 30. To get the last day of the next month for the dates in column A, change the second argument to 1. To get the last day of the previous month for the dates in column A, change the second argument to minus 1. We can also use the end of month and today functions to calculate the date at the end of the current month using this formula. To calculate the date at the end of next month, use this formula. For previous month, use this formula. If start date is not a valid date, end of month returns pound value error. You can also use the date function to calculate the end of month date. The date function lets you build a date on the fly using three arguments, the year, month and the day. For example, to calculate end of month for February 2020, use this formula. Use the year function to get the year, use zero as the day. Because there isn't a day zero, Excel will round the date down to the last day of the previous month. Get the month using the month function and add one to get the next month. This way, when we use zero as the day, we get the last day of the month in which we are interested. To get the last day of the next month for the dates in column A, add two to the month. To get the last day of the previous month for the dates in column A, leave the month as it is. To download example Excel file used in this video, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.